You may have watched my previous video. If you haven't done so, go and watch it. It's about recording audio into DaVinci Resolve, how to get the track set up, how to select your input, arm the track to record, and get something beautiful that sounds like this. So I might want to just trim the end of this so that there's no gap at the end there. So what I want to do is get this little icon showing up as I hover over the end. You see you've got this icon. I'll explain what that does in a mo. But I've got this icon and I want to trim it in just there and I do it and... Oh, it didn't trim. Hang on, let me try again. Oh, it didn't trim. Why? That might be frustrating for first time users. You need to switch off the snapping because DaVinci Resolve feels intelligently and knows whether you should be trimming to a certain point or not. And now you'll see I get gray wherever I am moving. And perfect, I can trim it right to the end there. That works. Snapping can then go back on if I like. Another cool thing, and that's this icon, and this works best between clips, is I can merge different audio that I recorded. So if I wanted to, I could actually merge if there was some audio. And look, there is some audio there. I can merge that audio in like so and listen to that. So it's going to jump to it and then hit record. Now notice it says me and hit record. It's got me saying and hit record there. That's crazy because it actually picked up a few moments of my speech before I actually hit the record button. That's crazy, isn't it? So again, I can trim this around to be exactly where I want. And if I want to sort of trim this to be further in, I can just move this along again, snapping mode off by clicking this or hitting the N key on your keyboard. And boom, there we go. And we could just trim that up a little bit and move that over. So we get a nice smooth edit between uh, the areas. I can also trim in here and trim out there. Say I trim this back out and we've got all that space. Say I wanted to now trim this whole audio so that it's ready to export as a fully produced piece with no silence at the start and no trailing end silence. Best way to do this, the easiest way, particularly if you use a bit of snapping, is to put an in and out marker. So again, I can scrub through to the start here find the start of my speech about there. Hit the I key for in. Hello. Yep, that's perfect. That's the start of my speech. In later. And I can actually really, if I want to, I can really zoom in on that waveform, make sure I'm getting to the end of it. About there. Hit the O key. And then when I zoom back out, look at that. Now I've got in and out markers. And the way this will really help me, let's try and get that zoom in as, as precise and nice as I can so I can kind of see everything. Now I can go to the start, and if I have snapping mode enabled, this magnet icon or N key on your keyboard to enable that, now I can trim in like that, and it's gonna snap to my marker there, boom, okay? And I can do the same at the end to trim it right there accurately at the end. Again, getting the right icon showing, and boom, right about there. And that will be absolutely perfect. And then that's that's ready to deliver between the in and out points. I can already deliver that as an exported wave or MP3 file. Uh, if I want to be precise, I can actually go into the mark area and I can clear the in and out. Uh, if I want, using uh, option X or alt and X will also work to do that. Uh, and if I really want to be precise as well, I can zoom right out again like this and I can highlight everything and just move it budget up to the start so it starts right at the beginning of my uh, my timeline which is great there you go that's how it's done and if you've got any comments or questions at all about DaVinci Resolve and audio editing particularly in Fairlight let me know in the comments down below uh, and also keep watching for my next video how to edit audio it's an overview tutorial on the audio editing uh, possibilities and impact that can be created uh, by using the fantastic features inside Fairlight which is inside DaVinci Resolve.